Hello folks, I got 2001 Honda Accord, it is six cylinders, and today the airbag light came on, no accidents, no damages, no steering wheel airbag deployments, no sensor problems of any kind, well we don't know that, but uh, it just starts showing up. The SRS right there. Um, we did hook up our scanner and we're getting 9 3. This is pretty common on these kind of Hondas. It's faulty driver's seat built buckle switch. And that tells me there is a problem with this buckle. Uh, I tried to. I tried to plug this in because sometimes, in some rare situations, when you plug this in, the light goes away uh, in our case it did not um, I, I tried to erase this code now it goes away because the seat belt is blocked plugged in um, this is just saying to turn it off Turn the switch back on, per the instructions here. Airbag light is back. And again, I showed you how we erased it and it came back. And if we do another scan, <clears throat> it's still showing its faulty driver seat buckle. Um, so again, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and remove the seat, and let's look at the. Okay, that looks like it is size 14. Let's go ahead and get our impact gun with size 14. I'm gonna. Try to go with the swivel first and see if we can remove it using the impact gun without a ratchet. Oh, let's see. Okay, very good. Next one. Very good. Sometimes those are really hard to remove. Um, move the seat forward a little bit. I'm gonna actually shut the car off here. Move to the back seat. Oh, this door is open. Uh oh. Wow. Oh boy. That is a problem. That's gonna make my life harder. Okay, we'll, we'll worry about that later on. Let's just uh, remove this plastic. To uncover the size 14 bolts. This door thing is gonna just make it really hard for me to get it in and out. Looks like this something's broken here that's not latching. Alright, we'll worry about that later on. And this one is on the side here. are off. 
Okay. And the only reason I'm removing the seat is because it's easier to get to this buckle if I remove the seat. Way easier. Okay, let's see. And what I normally do is I just tilt this just like that make sure you know these cables are still hooked in case you want to test things and okay it looks like we got Phillips screw one two and three of them actually I think I might be able to remove this without removing this plastic piece there's a one nut here for the buckle and then this wire that's, that's coming let's see where this okay it looks like this is the wire right here Oh, there you go. That's the wire that's going to the buckle, and it's plugging in right here. This is it. So I'm gonna unplug this and remove this. And I'm going to get a size 14 gear wrench. Let's see if this is the right size here. All right. Let me get my light so you guys can see what's underneath. And then I get actually my uh, clip remover. Uh, my clip remover right here and plier. So first thing is lighten, okay, As I'm going to remove the clip that's holding this wire. Okay, and for this, I'm just going to pinch it easy and push. You need to pinch this and then push. There you go. All right, that's it for the buckle. Like you guys can see, this took me a couple of minutes. I'm used to do this. I'm used to doing this. Um, if this is your first time, just be patient and just follow the instructions um, on this video. It shouldn't be too bad. Should be able to 
to get this clip out from here. Okay, so guys, I, I removed this. And I'm gonna go ahead and open this and uh, show you how you can fix it without replacing this piece, actually. This is pretty common on these Hondas. Um, so using something like this just to punch it and open it. Let's see if I can uh, put my camera down. So the problem guys is with this red button right here. Right here. See something is not working right here when this is pressed. So when the seat belt goes Let's see if I can uh, demonstrate something here really quick. The, this mechanism is to be the problem. Okay. Um, so this presses down. When you put the seat belt in, it presses this down all the way and then this button gets clicked. And then when you release, it goes back. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use clip, not a clip, uh, I'm gonna use a pen a needle nose to hold this red rubber and then put some kind of electrical grease in there to make it a little more flexible. Sometimes dust get collected in there and the mechanism doesn't work. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Let me go ahead and grab my uh, pen needle nose and then my uh, electrical grease or spray and then we'll spray inside of this red spot and then see what, we, what happens. We'll test it out. Okay, so this is what we're gonna use. Something simple like this. And then, this product. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually So you kind of try to hold this so we can have a place to spray this product on. And you don't, you don't want to over spray just a little bit, just enough to make sure the camera is focusing here, just enough so it goes inside with this red rubber. All right.
And if I have a thinner one, I would be able to hold this red and start spraying. But I think it can easily get in there without doing that. See, just like that, I'm holding it. And then let's see if we can spray a little bit inside it. All right. Make sure that grease gets in there. And then just start pressing this with your with your hand, just doing it real quick. Make sure the grease goes in there and then Again, the point I'm trying to make here is you want to make sure the spray goes inside this black pen, inside of this electrical component. I think this is enough. Okay, so put this cover back on. The way you put this on is first you slide this inside just like that and then you press. Once you hear the click, that means you're good to go. There you go. This is all we need to do. Let me just get a towel and clean this up. Uh, just gonna clean this with a rug and uh, from the grease and that uh, spray, clean my hands and uh, let's go ahead and test it out. All right, so guys, um, I'm gonna just go ahead and plug this in. And that's all I'm gonna have to do for now. All right, I'm gonna start the car and see what happens. This light might still be on because we need to clear it. So let's go ahead and clear this. Ignition on, engine off, yes. Continue. I unplugged this. That's kind of silly. Well, I'm, I'm going to actually keep this part just in case you guys do the same mistake that I do. So you guys remember. I'm not going to delete this part from the video. Alright. Well, it wasn't really a mistake. It was... I didn't want to drain the battery. 
so I unplugged it while I finished working on that uh, buckle. Okay, it's raised. The ignition switch off. Now it says turn it on. And let's see what happens. No light. Voila. Read codes. No codes. Just double check. I'm gonna shut this off. Turn the car back on. SRS is gonna go away. And it did. We're back in business. Hey guys, I'm gonna hook back everything back to the way it was in reverse, reverse order. And you know, for this, you need to put the buckle in a place first and then run the wire from the back, from the back here. Okay? Um, that's probably the easiest method to do this. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, and have a good day if it's a daylight and have a good night if it's evening. We'll see you with another video.